The tariff controversy raged ever higher. In Washington, Robert Hayne of South Carolina met Daniel Webster of Massachusetts in a debate that has become a classic of its time. And our brethren of the North turn a deaf ear to the complaints of South Carolina. We are acting on a principle we have always held sacred, resistance to unauthorized taxation. We will set up a government of our own before we bow to such a tariff. It is Senator Daniel Webster of Massachusetts, well known for his opposition to Jackson, his splendid oratory, his expensive legal fees, and his taste for gambling and brandy, who goes into battle. Daniel Webster will force the nation to face the real issues of the tariff debate. The right of a state to nullify federal law, concluding a two-day speech, Webster shows the nation the consequences of South Carolina's threat, disunion and civil war. When my eyes shall be turned to behold for the last time the sun in heaven, may I not see him shining on the broken and dishonored fragments of a once glorious union, on states dissevered, discordant, belligerent, on a land rent with civil feud, or drenched it may be with paternal blood. Let the last feeble and lingering glance, rather, behold the ensign of the Republic, still full high advanced, not a stripe erased, nor a single star obscured, bearing for its motto, liberty and union, now and forever, one 